Robert Sugars calls his new robot Stella because it has helped him get his groove back, just like Angela Bassett in the movie How Stella Got Her Groove Back. Sugars, a patient at Grace Heights Health and Rehabilitation Center, suffered a spinal cord injury from a fall on Memorial Day 2017. Not wanting to be a burden to the certified nurse assistants at Grace Heights, he asked his occupational therapist, Ashley Crawley, if there was something he could do to make their job easier. We had a conversation of realistically what our options were. You know, he has some pretty significant deficits with the spinal cord injury. Um, and this was always on the table. Crawley knew there had to be a device available that could help Sugars, and she began researching, eventually learning about the Obi dining robot. Obi may benefit people living with conditions affecting the upper extremities, including patients with ALS, amputation, arthritis, cerebral palsy, muscular dystrophy, neuromuscular conditions, Parkinson's, spinal injury, and stroke. The sleek machine weighs just under 8 pounds and is controlled by two buttons that Sugars can push with his hand. Food is placed in one of four bowls and a spoon attached to the robotic arm. So we do a quick setup. It takes about 15 minutes at the most. And after he's set up, he's good to go. Once everything is in place, Sugars pushes the button and the spoon smoothly scoops a bit of food and brings it close to his mouth. He pushes another button and the robotic arm adjusts the path of the spoon to reach into another bowl. What it does is it scoops out of the middle for the first um, seven scoops. We've learned after seven scoops it takes its spoon and it'll scoop down the edges again Yeah. and reloads the bowls. I was a little skeptical about it at first and I was like, man, this ain't gonna work. And she showed me, she said, sure, just try it, just try it. I can eat now, you know, without have to wait for the CNAs yeah. to feed me because they have other people to feed. Yeah. And all they have to do is just set me up and I can eat at my own pace as opposed to them feeding me. I so see. that takes a lot off of them and lets me watch TV. To pay for the machine, Crawley applied for granting hope funds from the Blue Ridge Healthcare Foundation to purchase the device for about $5,500. It's brought a lot of the quality of life back to his mill times. Uh -huh. It has. Um, we found the foundation and applied for the grant and it worked out wonderfully that um, they have provided the funds for us to get one into our facility. Sugar says he is very grateful to everyone who gives during the HOPE campaign. I would like to thank them for their donation and, and I know they put work into this too. And as they can see this here project could help not just me but a lot of more people around here could use this project. And I'm sure they would be grateful too, as well as I am. I am very grateful to the people that sponsored this here. But most of all, I give Ashley the credit.